Good morning, ghosts and ghouls. It's Montavious back with Empty Crypt. And today we are in Pasadena, California for Halloween 45 event going down today. So, I'm about to get dressed, hit the road, and get this day started. And you guys are coming along. What is up, Ghost and Ghouls? It is Montavious back with the Empty Crypt. And today we are in Pasadena, California for H45. Let's head on in and get it started. And guys, <coughs> this line right here is for the Tom Atkins figure. Luckily, I secured mine yesterday, so I don't have to wait in that. Well, we got a bunch of the celebrities hanging out right here in the hallway. Shanks, D. Wallace, all that good stuff. Oops, sorry. It is very calmed down from yesterday. Yesterday was intense. Yesterday was a crazy day. Looks like we got some screen used props here. Wow. So, question for you, because I know yes. I know you're the owner of these. This is Sean's, and I own the other two. Oh, okay. I still know about. Gotcha. Of them. So, just you don't have to give me like a figure, but like, how much would something like this cost if somebody wanted to do screen use Halloween? I would assume he probably got a deal for these mm. as a whole set. But like, say if someone was going to put that at auction, that probably goes for like thirty grand. Wow. The knife probably ten, fifteen. The copper house probably 10, 10 or 15. Okay. And these came directly from Tyler Main. There's gotcha. only one of those. Mm -hmm. There's only one. Uh, and it just depends. Like, I mean, you could get lucky. That's my H2O hero knife. It's metal. Yeah. I only paid 500, but it's worth like five, 10 grand. Wow. And, and that's all movie. These are all movie reviews. Oh, okay. That's mine. That's uh, Charles Cypher's. Cast jacket from 1982. Nice, man. And inside the, the pocket has a ticket that says Chuck Cyphers on it. Really? Yeah, and then he oh, signed the inside. That is awesome. Dude, that's badass. And you can get cheaper stuff, like, I think I'm going to pay 50 bucks for that chair back. But it's probably worth a few. It's, oh, it's for worth a few a hundred. More. For sure. Now you can't really get a lot of this for cheap at all because now people have caught on. People too. buy them just to sell them, kind of like the figures. Sure, they sure, do sure. that props. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're inside. We got the horror hound set up. Again, you got Sean Clark. Mm -hmm. 
Trick or Treat Studios is here. Look at those tees, guys. Those are some nice tees right there. <clears throat> now, this convention, for those who don't know, this is once every five years. So this is the 45th anniversary of Terror. And the next one would be the 50th. And we have a long line. Guys, this is for Nick Castle. Which I'm very surprised because Nick Castle is almost at every convention. And so I just don't understand how or why he still has his mega line. Like, as you guys see, his line. Uh, so I was VIP and I got it with the whole oh, package. Okay. So I don't know exactly. I got you. For sure. Danielle Harris. I mean, everybody associated. Uh, Dick Warlock here. Everyone associated with the franchise in some degree are going to be here. Excuse me. I mean, this is so, so, where all the celebrities are. I mean, literally, Christopher Nelson is here. Look at these photo op opportunities. Got Michael getting a picture in right now. Such a good dude, man. I've seen people posting pictures. <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's dude. a good pic. That is a great yeah. pic. Don't hang the baby out. had a desk, a chair, and the mask was laying on the, the desk. And she had told me about this, this movie. I had never seen part one, but you know, the guy in the white mask. So I picked the mask up and I put it on and I walked to Rick's door. And kind of based on Hitler and all those guys. And it, it's, a, it's a wonderful, wonderful play. And oh my God, he he loved to drink. He loved to eat steaks. He loved. He was outsized for the breed of human being. He was bigger than life, and and his his heart blew up one day. It, uh, it had a rough start, and I chalked that up to two things. If we had followed the original Halloween and advertised it well and said something new this year, I think everything would have been fine because of his own stunts. And, you know, okay, I'll, I'll knock you into the window, but going over the railing, I think the stunt guy should do it. I go, but they won't see your face. He goes, oh, okay. As long as they weren't seeing his face, he didn't care. <laughs> but he was really a gentleman and, uh, <laughs> Peter O'Toole, they had approached him about doing a Parandello play in London. And he said, well, I appreciate you think of you. I mean, what you see on the screen is all this intensity, all this thing happening. But if you're on the other side, well, we're making that piece. For instance, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a shotgun and I'm going to impale this girl into a, a door. Well, there's a lot to make sure you hit your mark and make it look right. And you got to make the intensity because you're not going to hurt somebody. So you have all these other things going on. And uh, there's this filmmaking part of the intensity that, that uh, we bring to that, to that moment when they say action, but I would compare it more to like professional football and sports. Oh! So, Dave, let's start with you. Everybody just go down the line and, and tell everybody what role you played in uh, which of the two films. We'll start there. Sorry, I'm laying up. Hi! I'll speak slower. I think I'm so great. So I, I, I thought it, it needed to be right, and I approached it like a fan, and I approached it um, based on what I wanted to see uh, in, a, in a Halloween mask and, um, and 
and one of the effects to be practical, and so did David Gordon Green. And mask of the Halliburton, we all went back to the back room. The very first time Chris applied that mask to my face, which has to be applied to my face, um, everybody in the room collectively just, just had this guttural moan. Uh, I mean, it was just it was incredible. And, and then every morning, whether it was six in the morning or six at night, we would spend in makeup, and Chris, intuitively, he'd look at the, he'd look at the call sheet for the next day, and he would intuit what Happy birthday, dear Sean. Happy birthday to you. All right, does anybody want a piece of this? Because I don't really like cake. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> They got me pies, I'm a pie guy. But uh, where's that cake gonna be where they can get a piece? Well, they can't go in the green room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. walk up and grab a chunk or something. All right, thank you, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Tell them what happened. Uh, well, okay, so so let me tell you the, the because the camera angle is so low, they, they 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 put a pad, but it's not a pad. It's about an inch um, on the concrete, right? It's hard the hard rubber on, on concrete. Um, I pulled a concussion out of that one. I, I I pulled a concussion out of that one. I've had concussions. I know exactly what they feel like. It's a spike in the middle of the brain, then you get a halo. I think that was on the first one, and then oh, I can't remember which one it was. Well. That's why I have concussions. Um, <laughs> so um, we kept trying to get it right. And, uh, we met at, a, um, in a, at an Ivy League school called the University of Southern California. <laughs> and right here in, not too far away, here. I had to come all the way from Westwood, California. He had to come from Kentucky, <laughs> Bowling Green, Kentucky. And uh, we both were students at the uh, film school there. And of course, you know, you start off and you just go, Luna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, all of Nick's cast have become a big. Nick Castle is one of the great directors of all, all time. time. That's it. <laughs> 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 Can you, Nancy, tell us a little bit about teaching and what do you teach? Please. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I teach um, academic classes primarily. 